Hello there, welcome back. These are our video solutions to quiz five from my Math 250A, which is Calculus 3, during the spring 21 semester at Cal State Fullerton. Uh, this first question is, is a true or false question, and it's asking us whether or not we're allowed to, in essence, sort of commute uh, these integral signs. Uh, we've set up a double integral, and the, the difference you can see is that I have dx dy in the first one, and dy dx, and that should correspond to me swapping the x's and the y's, right? And you can see that. The y is in the first position on the left, and then it's in the second position on the right. And Fubini's theorem roughly says something like this, right? So when you write down Fubini's theorem, it's telling you if you, uh, say, integrate x from a to b, and then y from c to d, and you have some function, and there's some you know, continuity condition we want, then, okay, we have dy dx. Notice, of course, the y's match on the inside, the x's on the outside. Then this is actually the same thing as if you integrate first from c to d, uh, and then from a to b, right? So you're doing the y integration on the outside and the x integration on the inside. And so here we do dx and then dy. Okay, so question, does Fubini's theorem suggest that these two are equal? And it, it almost feels like they are, because look what we did, right? We have the same function, right? There's an x and an x. We swap the dx and the dy. Okay, that's the right thing to do. The y's came first, then they came second. And here, okay, y's first, then y's second. Like, it feels like everything is, is kosher, except what about these bounds? You notice in this one, when I swap the y from the first to the second position, the bounds stick around, right? You don't change what y values you can get. They go from c to d in either direction, right? But look what I did. I didn't swap them here. I have y going from negative 1 to 1, and then y going from 0 to 3. So the answer here is, is false. Fubini's theorem definitely does not imply it. Now, you might say, but wait, I've seen in Fubini's theorem where when you swap, you, you don't keep the same bounds. And that is going to be true potentially when these are not just constants, but, but functions. Okay, so uh, when we write down what I call a type X region and you switch it to a type Y region, then you might actually have to uh, examine your bounds. And we'll actually see an example of that in problem two. All right, we'll see you again on the next video.